In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a production version of a progressive web application in Ionic, and then how to upload that to a server. Uh, so this is going to be really quick and simple. Uh, I've already covered in a written blog post uh, the, the, the basics of creating a progressive web app, the, the difference between creating a just a normal Ionic application, and then what exactly you know, do we need to do to that to make it a progressive web app. So I'll link to the post for that, and you can go give that a read if you want. But to really quickly recap, all you need to do uh, at the bare minimum sort of level is to uncomment the service worker in your index.html file. Uh, so you'll find that here. Uh, this will be commented out by default, but uh, when you generate an Ionic application, this will be there. And that will register the service worker, which is in this file here. And again, this is all there by default. You don't need to do that. Uh, this caches your uh, content so that it will, it will be available offline. And all you need to do uh, here is if you are adding uh, other assets apart from the, the built Ionic files uh, that are here by default, you also need to make sure to, ca uh, to cache those here. And then there's just the manifest.json file where you just uh, provide some information uh, so that uh, in the case of, say, if a user installs the Progressive Web App on their device, uh, we have you know, the logo for the icon here, uh, the display format, what the application's name is. So this is just some metadata around the application. And that's basically all you need to do uh, to turn your normal Ionic application into a Progressive Web application. And as I mentioned in the blog post, there are uh, a lot more things to think about uh, with progressive web applications. It's not just as simple as doing this, but at a sort of bare minimum level, this will turn your app into a PWA. You'll be able to access it offline, and if it's supported uh, on the device, the user will be able to uh, install your application from the web onto their device without having to uh, go through an app store or anything like that. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in doing for this video is now taking this application and just quickly running through what the steps are to get this uh, live on the web. So all you'll need to do is open up your uh, your terminal here, and I'm just going to change into the uh, directory for this application. And the build process really isn't any different than how you would normally serve your application. So when you run Ionic serve, uh, Ionic will create a, a built version of your application that gets put into this www folder. And so you can see uh, in here we have like main.js, which is the bundled version of our application. All of our code gets minified and put into this one file. Uh, so rather than having a bunch of different folders with our pages and so on, it's all just um, concatenated into this giant file here and everything's converted back into ES5 JavaScript. Uh, but basically this is what, uh, what is run through the browser when, you, when you're actually serving your application. We don't want to just uh, create a normal build though, we want to create a, a production build. So we want to just generate this www folder, but we want to do it with um, the production settings. So in order to do that, all we need to do is run the following command, which is npm run. And so we're running the Ionic build process, uh, but we want to supply that with the prod flag, uh, which is of course short for production. So I'll run that command now. And so that's going to build uh, the application into this www uh, folder here. You can see things flying in and flying out right now. Okay, so you can see that is finished generating now. Uh, we've got all the files we need in the www folder. I'm just gonna open this up in uh, my finder here. And so this is the application and what we're interested in for our PWA is just this www folder. And so this, uh, everything that is in this uh, folder here uh, except for the, the hidden git file there. This is what we want to upload to our server to make it available. And so you can see here we have you know, an index.html file. And that's you know just like any normal static website we'd put on the web, we have an index.html file, and that can then you know, load in whatever JavaScript we're using. And in the case of a you know, single page application, which is what uh, we get with Ionic, that's going to handle uh, setting up our entire application. So this file, uh, when you go to the URL on the web, that's going to be loading in uh, our main.js file, our CSS, and everything else we need. So all we need to do is upload what is in this folder. So I've got a uh, Cyberduck here. This is just like a FTP, SFTP client for uh, interacting uh, with the server. 
And so what I'm going to do is I've got it open to a folder on my server on joshmaroney.com. And I've created a specific folder for this called bare minimum PWA. And so I'm just going to upload the contents of my www folder uh, into this folder on my server, and then I'll be able to access it. So obviously you'll need some kind of you know, server on the internet somewhere, whether that's with a shared host or you've got your own virtual private server or something like that. Uh, you just need somewhere to host the files basically on, uh, on a server where you can then access it through the web via a URL. So I'm going to upload these uh, files now. And it's important that you upload the just the files and the folders, not the entire www folder. So I'm just going to drag those over here. They'll start uploading. Okay, so they've finished uploading now. So now that entire folder is up on uh, my server. Uh, so it'll be available uh, through my joshmaroney.com website. And so to check that that actually all works now, let's actually go visit that URL. Okay, so I've got a web browser open now. Uh, so now all I need to do is go to joshmaroney.com forward slash bare minimum PWA. And that's the, the folder I created on my server. So I'll go to that. And you can see we have our Ionic application displaying on the screen now. And so this is just a, it's just using a you know, default starter template, so it doesn't look particularly uh, fantastic or anything. Uh, but if we were to you know, access this through a mobile device, we're going to get this, uh, we're going to get this uh, application that looks, you know, like a sort of normal uh, mobile application that you'd expect, but it's running through the web. And the cool thing about a uh, progressive web application is if, let's say if I just, I'll go away from that uh, for now, uh, if I now, uh, say, switch off my internet connectivity uh, and I attempt to go to that address again, it will still work uh, because I've visited it uh, once. Uh, it's cached those files, and so I'm going to be able to access them when I'm offline. Uh, so I'm just going to switch off my Wi-Fi now, and then we'll try again. Okay, so my Wi-Fi is off. Uh, so let's try go to that same URL again. Okay, so I'm just loading up uh, google.com now just to check that the internet uh, doesn't work. Okay, so we can see we've tried to access google.com, says there's no internet connection. Uh, so now we are going to try and access our progressive web application. Okay, so let's load that up now. And as you can see, we can still uh, visit this, uh, uh, this application. We're going directly to the URL, we're going to the website, uh, but we are offline completely right now, except we can still we can still see everything and interact with the application. And that's that's one of the key elements of a progressive web application, that it is available offline. Okay, so I just wanted to really quickly show you how you go about actually you know, taking your uh, application, turning it into a progressive web app, and then you know, getting that onto the web so people can actually use it. So I hope this was somewhat helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.